What is up, Fell Rotors? I'm Joshua Thomas, and I am here to give you another Final Fantasy VII video, and this time it is about the order in which you should play all of these Final Fantasy VII games that are coming out. With four projects in the work right now, and a slew of other games that have already come out, it can be really confusing to new fans exactly what's a sequel to what and what order you should play these games in. So I'm here to help you clear that up. I want to give special thanks to Michael Bustamante, I hope I pronounced that right, and Vincent Graymore for their comments on one of my previous videos on how they thought you should play in what order. And I'll, I'll also preface this with saying it's not a linear path that you should play these in. In fact, it's more of like a branching tree um, because you don't have to have played like six of these games to play the seventh one or however it may be. You also don't have to play these in chronological order of when they came out or of what time they take place in in the Final Fantasy VII universe. I, I hope that makes sense. So let's get started right away. The first two games I'm going to mention are interchangeable. In other words, it really doesn't matter which one you play first, but I'm going to start off with Final Fantasy VII, the original game, from here on out known as the OG. The original game is where it all started. It's the reason that all of these offshoots and remakes and other things have been created, and there's a good reason for that, and the only way that you can truly appreciate it is if you play it yourself. Or, uh, I guess, watch one of the hundreds and thousands of streamers who have played it for you. The other one that you can play first is obviously Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is a remake of the first about 25% of the original game. This remake is going to be a part of a trilogy that encompasses the entire original game and incorporates a few other things and we'll get into that later. But people who have played the remake have gone on to play the original because they loved the remake so much. Now, the reason a lot of people play remake first is because it's new and it's got the most amazing graphics the PS4 can handle and looks even better on PS5. The original Final Fantasy game, the OG, is pretty much available on everything. You can find it on computers, on just about every gaming platform there is. It's easy to find. Um, Remake, however, is only available on PS4, PS5 with the Intermission DLC, which, you know, you can also play that along with it, and PC. Those are the first two things you should play, and if the OG if you can't get past the graphics, play it on Steam and download several of the mods that improve the graphics, and there's even some mods that add uh, voice-acted dialogue to the game. Not the greatest, but hey, if that's what gets you to play the OG, I highly recommend it because most of the other games on this list pretty much require you to have played the OG. I should also mention that the order that I'm giving these games to you in is how I feel you can truly appreciate the storylines of each one to their fullest. So the next two are also kind of interchangeable, but they both require you to have at least played the OG. And that is Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which came out in 2007 on the PSP, and Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, which came out in 2005. Now, it's important to note that Advent Children is a movie, and you can see it on several streaming services, including on YouTube movies. Uh, the important thing to know about these two is that Advent Children is also mainly about Cloud Strife. The OG game is all about Cloud Strife, and his story continues in Advent Children. Crisis Core, on the other hand, is a prequel to the OG, but it's still important that you have played the OG before Crisis Core. The reason I say you should play the OG before Crisis Core is because Crisis Core contains a lot of 
spoilers for the twists and tribulations that happen in the original game. And it came out after the original game, assuming that you had played the OG. And before, I would have just told you, you know, I wouldn't even have been concerned about you playing this because it was only available on the PSP, which it, no one can pretty much play those anymore. They're all breaking down and, you know, the batteries are wearing out. But we just recently learned that Crisis Core is being remade as Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion, and it is a part of the remake, remake a thon of Final Fantasy VII. It's coming out on all platforms, which means it's going to be readily available, and the devs even say in interviews that you should play Crisis Core Reunion before Rebirth, which will be later on in this video. But I highly recommend playing, once again, the OG, because even if you play Crisis Core Reunion before Rebirth, you're still going to get some spoilers, no doubt, that are going to happen in Rebirth, and I'll get into that later. But for Crisis Core Reunion, I highly recommend that you have played the OG and Remake. And for Advent Children, I only recommend that you've played the OG. And if you want to get a little bit more backstory on Zack, then you can also play Crisis Core Reunion as well. The next game on our list is Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII, and yeah, here's just a, you know, a still frame from it. I, I don't even really care about it that much. You don't even need to play it. Now, it, there are some Easter eggs contained within Intermission that have to do with Dirge of Cerberus, but this is one of those games where you really should only play that if you're just the biggest Final Fantasy VII fan ever, and if Vincent is one of your favorite characters. By all means, go for it. It's like a third-person shooter. It's not a typical RPG, and it wasn't the greatest game ever. The only game you need to have played before playing Dirge of Cerberus is, once again, the OG. Another game that you only need to have played the OG before playing is Before Crisis. But Before Crisis is a mobile game that only released in Japan and is unplayable by pretty much anyone right now. Um, more on that later, though. The next game on the list is Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Oh my god, what is Ever Crisis? Well, Ever Crisis is another remake of the original Final Fantasy VII, but it is appearing to be a more traditional remake. In other words, it's pretty much the original game with modern day graphics, and it's available on iPhone and Android devices. So yeah, if you want to play that, you're going to have to play it on mobile. But there's one more thing about Ever Crisis, and that is that it's going to contain elements from Crisis Core, Before Crisis, Dirge of Cerberus, and Advent Children, and the devs have even reported that there are going to be some stuff from our next entry, which is Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier. Now, what do you need to have played before playing Ever Crisis? Well, actually, you can play Ever Crisis without having played any of the other Final Fantasy VII games in the franchise. Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis is, once again, going to be a remake of the original and several other games encompassed all in one game that is going to be released in chapters. It's going to be free to play with microtransactions in the game. So I assume that we can trust the devs in the order in which they release these chapters. The first 10 chapters are reported to be the OG game, simply remade. And the scenery that we see where we have characters fighting in battles that appear to be out of sync, in other words, these characters weren't in the party yet when you fought this fight, uh, simply just means that you might get to have some, like, chime trial battles or some challenges uh, that you can do later on in the game. The next entry on our list is a game that you honestly don't need to play at all, and that's Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier. The First Soldier is a mobile game that is basically a PUBG Mobile clone. It is just a battle royale in which you dive into the city of Midgar, either on top of the plate or below the plate, and you just fight to the death to the last man standing. 
there's literally no storyline and really no plot points to the original game at all. Now, you're going to appreciate Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier more if you've played the remake and the OG, but once again, if you just like PUBG Mobile style games, you might enjoy this, and if you don't, don't play it. And last on our list is quite possibly the most important one coming out in 2024 in the winter, most likely, is going to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, Rebirth is a direct sequel to Remake, so make sure that you've played Remake before playing Rebirth. Now, the devs have said that you can honestly play Rebirth as though it was your first Final Fantasy game, so they've set it up in such a way that it won't be too foreign to people who are just getting in uh, to the Final Fantasy VII franchise, with that being their first game. But I highly recommend, once again, that you've played the OG remake, and once again, the devs suggest that you play Crisis Core Reunion. Now, why are they suggesting that you play Crisis Core Reunion when I say that you need to have played the OG beforehand? It gets complicated. But the main reason is that story elements are changing from the OG, and I do believe that the devs expect players who are playing Rebirth to have already played the OG. So once again, if you're going to play the main games all the way up to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I highly recommend playing Remake, the OG game, then Crisis Core Reunion, then Rebirth. Are you confused? I, I hope not. It's, it's a lot of stuff to take in. I hope you learned something from this video, and feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think you should play the order in, or if this video helped you out at all. Be sure to watch these other Final Fantasy VII Remake fan theory videos if you have played the OG because there's lots of spoilers in them. Thanks for watching, and I'll check you next time.